here we can see various conical structures can you tell me what are these structures called yes they are called pyramids now pyramids is a part of egyptian civilization which is one of the ancient civilizations in human history this egyptian civilization flourished along the banks of river nile so we can say that river nile played an important role in the development of egyptian civilization this is because egypt where the civilization flourished is actually a dry barren land or is simply a desert in this lesson we will discuss about desert in details well this world map shows the location of deserts in the world here we can see that the deserts are located between 15 degree to 30 degree north and south of the equator also we can see here that both the tropics that is tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn passes through these deserts thus we find that these hot deserts are located in the tropical zone and therefore these deserts are also known as tropical deserts now here we can see that the tropical deserts are spread across all the continents so as mentioned just now the tropical deserts are present in most of the continents of the world in the continent of africa these tropical deserts include sahara desert namib desert and kalahari desert in the continent of asia it includes the arabian desert and the thar desert the atacama desert of south america is also a tropical desert tropical deserts are also present in north america here it includes deserts like mojave desert colorado desert and mexican desert together they are known as great basin desert now here we can also see that the great australian desert covers maximum part of australia this great australian desert is also a tropical hot desert so from this map we can understand that the tropical deserts are present in almost every continents of the world now can you tell me which of these deserts is the largest one well the sahara desert that is situated in africa is the largest hot desert in the world now if you remember we discussed about egyptian civilization at the beginning of this lesson now egypt is situated in the eastern side of sahara desert so we can also say that the egyptian civilization developed on the vast sahara desert now if you carefully look at this map you will understand that most of the deserts are located on the western margins of the continents let's explore the reason behind this Now before we proceed with our lesson let me ask you a question can you identify the largest hot desert in the world is it the thar desert sahara desert atacama desert or kalahari desert what do you think well the correct answer is sahara desert we just learned that sahara desert which is situated in africa is the largest hot desert in the world so the correct answer is sahara desert so as mentioned just now the deserts are mostly located on the western margins of the continents this is because of the presence of trade winds in the tropical zone see in this world map the red arrows denote the trade winds that are prevalent in the torrid zone now we already have a video on trade winds you can use the i dictionary feature to revise this topic of trade winds now trade winds as we know blow from northeastern side in northern hemisphere and from southeast in southern hemisphere or simply we can say that these trade winds blow from east to west 
So these trade winds entered the continents from eastern side and shed most of its moisture there. And by the time they reach the western margins of the continent, they become dry and shed almost no rainfall. So due to low amount of precipitation on the western boundaries of the continents, these places have gradually evolved into deserts. So due to the existence of trade winds, we can find deserts on the western margins of the continents. Well, there is another reason for low amount of rainfall in deserts. In order to understand this, we will have to perform an experiment. Take mud, sand and water in separate beakers. Here, the light color particles represent the sand particles while the dark colored particles are mud particles. Now, insert filter paper in both the glass jars and then add mud and sand particles in the glass jars separately. Then pour water in both the glass jars. After some time, note the amount of water collected in the glass jars. Here we find that the amount of water that seep through mass particles is nearly 20 ml while the amount of water collected in the sand particles is slightly more than 20 ml. So from this experiment we can conclude that sand has low capacity to hold water or moisture. So in our previous experiment we understood that sand has low capacity to hold moisture. Now desert as we know is a vast region covered with sand. Now since sand has low capacity to hold moisture so this region is extremely dry. Due to this fact, there is less evaporation of surface water and hence there is less formation of clouds in air. So, the amount of rainfall or precipitation is also less in deserts. Thus here, we understood that since soil has little amount of moisture, this eventually results in low amount of rainfall in deserts. I just now mentioned that deserts experience less amount of rainfall throughout the year. Now this chart illustrates the temperature and precipitation conditions of a place in tropical deserts. In this chart the blue bars denote the amount of precipitation received by the tropical region. Here we can see that the amount of precipitation is very less throughout the year. For a maximum part of the year that is from the months of April to November there is actually no rainfall while for rest of the months that is from December to March there is very little amount of rainfall. So the rate of precipitation in tropical deserts is very less. In fact, the annual rainfall is actually less than 25 centimeter. So here we understood that tropical deserts experience very less amount of rainfall. Let us now know about the temperature conditions of this biome. Well, as mentioned previously, this chart also illustrates the temperature conditions of tropical deserts. Here, the peach color bars represent or denote the temperature condition. From this chart, we can conclude that the average temperature of this biome is very high. During summer months, that is from May to September, the temperature remains extremely high, that is from 35 degree Celsius to 40 degree Celsius. Whereas during winter months, that is from October to April, the temperature drops to some extent and it ranges between 15 degree Celsius to 
25 degree celsius thus it can be said that the annual temperature of tropical desert is very high now not only the annual temperature is extremely high but also there is wide variations in day and night temperatures that is the range of temperature is also high in tropical deserts well if you remember range of temperature refers to the difference between maximum temperature of the day and minimum temperature of the day now let us calculate the range of temperature for a particular day say in the month of march in the month of march we can see that the maximum temperature is 23 and the minimum temperature is 13 so the range of temperature for this day will be 23 minus 13 that is 10 degree celsius so this is how we can calculate the range of temperature for a particular day now in tropical deserts as i mentioned there is wide variations in day and night temperatures as a result the diurnal range of temperature or daily range of temperature is very high in fact the daily range of temperature usually varies between 10 to 15 degree celsius now let us know why there is high variations in day and night temperatures in tropical deserts now deserts as we know is an extremely dry place and it has less cloud cover now clouds or water vapor as we know is a potent greenhouse gas and it absorbs heat now in absence of cloud cover there is rapid insulation or absorption of heat by sand now due to this high rate of insulation during daytime the temperature increases rapidly while at night we find there is rapid terrestrial radiation that is the sand loses heat very rapidly due to rapid terrestrial radiation during night the temperature drops significantly and therefore in deserts we find that the nights are cooler and days are warmer that is the daily range of temperature is very high in deserts so we learned that the average temperature of tropical deserts is very high and also there is wide variation in day and night temperatures again the amount of precipitation received by this biome is very less in fact we can also say that tropical deserts experience scanty rainfall so based on the temperature and precipitation patterns of this biome we can conclude that the climate of tropical desert is hot and dry hot because it has high annual temperature and dry because it receives scanty rainfall in fact tropical deserts experiences two distinct seasons that is summer and winter now during summer we can see that the average temperature is extremely high and the amount of rainfall or precipitation is insignificant or almost absent now coming to winter during winter season we can find that the temperature drops to some extent and also during winter tropical deserts experiences little amount of rainfall thus we can conclude that overall the climate of tropical deserts is hot and dry so in this lesson we discussed in details about the location and climate of tropical deserts we learned that tropical deserts are located on both the sides of the equator between 50 to 30 degree latitudes in fact both the tropics passes through these tropical deserts then we discussed that the climate of tropical deserts is hot and dry that is this place has high annual temperature and low rate of precipitation in our next video we will discuss more about tropical deserts Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. 
You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now